long time. It's called the Queen Mary. It's in Long Beach, California, and it's a big ship, guys. So let's hop aboard. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a voiceover for this video because it was pretty loud while we were there. There were lots of people around. And this ship used to sail back and forth across the ocean um, for people, like a cruise ship kind of thing. And now it's docked here permanently in Long Beach, California, and they use it as a hotel now. So you can see everybody's luggage there. And um, people are coming to stay on the ship because they use the rooms as rooms for guests to stay in, like a hotel now. So here we are in the elevator getting ready to go up to the bridges that cross over to the ship itself. So there's the ship. This is how high up we are. Yeah. <laughs> let's go on, Ma. Let's go in. So let's take a look around this famous ship. It's a very old ship from the 1930s, guys. So there's the lobby. And then this bear really caught my attention. I got distracted by the bear. The bear caught my attention. It's in front of one of the gift shops. Had to have my photo taken with him. I like him. He's dressed like a bellboy. So then there's all these different stairways all over the ship, guys. So there's more of the close-up shot of the lobby. And then we're going to go up the stairs to the promenade deck. So here we go. And then there is some old fitness equipment from when the ship was around. And now they have a fitness center here. And here is all of the new stuff for the hotel guests. So this is an area, I love those couches, they're so comfortable. Here is an area that is part of the hotel part of it where the rooms are, but we're gonna go up these stairs and we're gonna go up here. And here we are in the promenade deck. So there's a lot of restaurants here and there's a lot of shops here too. So you can see all the shops. We'll look at those later though. And there's the cafe we're gonna eat at later. And then the ship was named after Her Majesty Queen Mary. So there she is, guys. That's who the ship was named after. So then here is a closer shot of all of the gift shops. Everything is so shiny. And the style of this ship is called Art Deco. And it's a certain kind of style that was popular back in the 30s. And uh, yeah, check it out, guys. Close up of the uh, gift shops. And this is all original stuff, guys. And then this mural here on the wall shows you all the different kinds of wood that is used all over the ship. Different kinds of wood from all over the world. Very cool. And then there's this Queen Mary Bell. And this ship has been named a historical landmark um, in 1993. And then this is the stairway that leads us down to the engine room and the Queen Mary story exhibit. So here you can see how far down we are. And there's the water, so creepy. All right, so here's the Queen Mary story. So in the 20s to 1926 to 1936, they were creating the ship and building it and all that jazz. And then 1936 is when the ship was going back and forth across the ocean, kind of like an ocean liner for passengers. And then they painted it gray and used it in World War II as a transport ship for all of the troops and things. And then in 1946 to 1958, they painted it its original colors, which look very much like the Titanic, actually. And they used it again as a ship for uh, passengers. And then October 31st, 1967, it came to Long Beach. And here is one of its anchors. It's what its anchors look like. They're huge guys. And then just here's some Queen Mary memorabilia. And now we're going to go down these stairs, guys, and this takes you to the old engine room. So you can actually go down here and look around, and it's pretty dark in some places. I was a little freaked out, but Mom let me know it was okay. Yeah, creepy, creepy stuff, guys. But look, there's some lights, and there's other people wandering around down here, so it wasn't too bad. Yep, so we're just going to continue down in here and take a look around. So imagine back in the day how loud it would have been down here with all of these machines and things. All right, guys, so here we are. These are a bunch of dials and things that they use on the ship. And uh, now we're going up a passageway. And this is a watertight door. This is watertight door number 13. And these watertight doors would seal so that way if there was a leak in the ship or something, it would seal off certain sections. So that way the ship would not sink. 
So yeah, I wanted to see that door. And then this is the propeller box. Now this is very interesting. They made this thing and you're walking actually off the ship. I know that's hard to understand, but they built this box thing with this railing. And when you look down, you're actually looking down into the water. And that is the propeller that's on the side of the ship. So you're actually looking down into the water. And there's the ship, the side of the ship. And uh, it's very strange how they built this, because see, there's where I just walked from. So anyway, it was really cool to see this propeller, but it was definitely creepy. So big, it's huge. Then there's this little museum thing down here where you can look and see what it was like during World War II when the soldiers were here. So there's all these bunk bed things, and apparently these were all over the ship. They were in the hallways, they were in the dining rooms, they were in the ballrooms, they were in the pool. They had them everywhere. Then they had this other area where you could see what it was like. That's a first class table setting. And then it showed you what the rooms looked like. And there's more table settings and that's what a first class room would look like. Yeah, so it's very nice, very pretty. And uh, yeah, more table settings. It was so cool, guys. So neat. That's a first class lounging room. And that's original furniture and everything. So it was very cool, guys. And then we go upstairs, and this is where the entrance to the first class pool was. But they don't let you in there anymore unless you go on a tour, which we didn't have time for. So what we did is we um, went to this room, and it shows a picture right there of what the first class pool actually looked like. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go up these stairs here. Stairs, stairs, stairs more stairs and this leads us upstairs to where the hallways are to show you what the hallways look like for the hotel now so this is what it looked like when the ship was sailing but now they use the rooms as hotel rooms and then we decided to go on the upper decks of the ship to see what it looked like up there so this is us walking up 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 yeah, we go upstairs, there is the parking lot, and then you look around and it just shows you what it's like up there. This is the bow of the ship, so it's the front of the ship actually. And yeah, and you can just keep looking and then you'll see the city of Long Beach. It's very cool, guys, very cool up there. So here we are at the Promenade Cafe, guys, and that was our view from our table, looking over Long Beach. And here I am at the table, ha ha ha. And we're checking out the menu to figure out what we're gonna eat. And Mom and I decided we were going to share a burger and fries with a little cup of ketchup. So that's what we shared. It was very, very good. And then we went to see the Princess Diana exhibit, and this is part of the gift shop. They do not allow you to take pictures. Those are some of her dresses. Um, but they don't allow you to take pictures or anything inside the exhibit, so I kind of snuck this footage. But this is the gift shop, so I did take some footage of the gift shop, which I was allowed to do. And there's just lots of royal family kind of things in here, lots of different tea, tea sets, and all sorts of little things. It was a pretty neat little gift shop. And uh, yeah, I really liked it, and I really like this pink stuff, this pink crystal stuff, haha, <laughs> of course. Then we went to the regular Queen Mary stores um, in the gift shops. This was a whole Titanic corner, which I was extremely excited to find. I thought it was so cool, guys, but a lot of it was pretty expensive, but I was very excited, as you can see there. <laughs> yeah, very cool. So Mom and I decided to use this machine to press a penny. I'm sure you guys have done this before. Mom and I love to collect these things, and you just press a penny, and there's Mom twisting it for us. And out pops the penny, and it is a Queen Mary ship that we pressed on the penny. So we really like that souvenir. Then I found this Captain Bear. I had to have my picture with him, too. So anyway, guys, thank you for joining us on the Queen Mary. Be sure to subscribe. I have more videos coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye.